Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. First and foremost, I want to let you all know that this is going to be another direct response video to Phony Beetle Maniacs. I would like to take this opportunity to tell you, Phony Beetle Maniacs, that I do accept your apology. And I, myself, want to apologize if I came off a little rough around the edges. It turns out that I do get a little angry sometimes when people accuse me of things that I did not do. Now, there are some individuals out there who seem to have a trouble grasping why I made that video. And I would like to take this opportunity to explain to one particular individual who seems to have it in his head that I am just doing these things to be a bigot. Now, you do realize, Doug, that I made that video for a certain reason. The reason being people accusing me of things for a long period of time. Now, do you understand when an individual is being accused of something for a long period of time, eventually this particular individual is going to want to actually make these accusations true. And that is why I made that video. That is why I was motivated to make that video. And that is why I felt compelled to make that video. And it wasn't necessarily by phony beetle maniacs. There have been a lot of people from time to time who have accused me of doing things that I did not do in my videos. And that's why, you know, it came to the fruition that it did. I felt compelled to make that video because people were accusing me of it long enough. So I decided to make it true. There's nothing bigoted about me, Doug. And there never will be anything bigoted about me. But if people are going to say some outlandish shit, I'm going to call them out on it. I'm going to do the things that I do in my videos. And that's why I made that video. I wanted to prove a point that if you're going to accuse someone of something long enough that they're going to actually do it. Now that that's out of the way, I'd like to take this opportunity to finish the video as a discussion with phony beetle maniacs. Now I do realize that there are going to be a lot of people out there who hold a lot of different opinions about the Bible. But one of the things that grabs my attention the most about this whole particular situation is the fact that there are a lot of Christians out there who think that the Old Testament is obsolete and that they don't really take the Old Testament too seriously because of the New Testament. Now this is one of the things that I obviously have an issue with because the Ten Commandments are in the Old Testament. Yet these people that think that the Old Testament is obsolete still follow the Ten Commandments. Now that's something that basically screams to me cherry picking. You know, these Christians obviously are going to pick and choose what they want to make them feel good. And that's basically why I wanted to bring that up. Now, another issue that I wanted to talk to you about, phony beetle maniacs, is the fact that there are so many people out there that have literally different interpretations of the Bible. That's why there's so many denominations of Christianity out there. Now, I think that it's pretty safe to say that I did hear you correctly in saying that you wouldn't take your unruly children out to the edge of town to stone them to death, or you wouldn't kill a young girl on her wedding night simply because she wasn't a virgin. And there are a lot of people out there who hold that same exact position, and there are also people out there who would literally do those horrible things if they were given the chance to. Now what screams to me about this particular situation is the fact that a lot of people really don't take this alleged word of God too seriously. Yet, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, this alleged word of God is accurate. A lot of people think that this alleged word of God is something to be taken seriously. But why would some people ignore some of the things in the Bible? Why would some people basically, you know, bring to light a lot of the things that they agree with on the Bible? To me, it seems that a lot of these Christians really don't take this alleged word of God too seriously. Because if they did, they would actually follow the entire thing. Yet, they don't. And that's the issue that I have with this whole particular situation. And that really just shows me how inaccurate this Bible is. Because in all actuality, if it was divinely inspired by an actual alleged living God, like I said in the previous video, there would only be one religion. A lot of people would be taking the entire book seriously. They wouldn't just say, oh, no, this I ain't going to take seriously, or this I don't agree with, or whatever the case might be, you know. They would be agreeing with everything, you know. 
And to me, that is why I don't believe that the Bible holds any water in any way, shape, or form. I don't think that there's any facts or any truth to the Bible in any way, shape, or form. Because there's so many people that don't take it seriously. There's so many people that take, you know, a few bits and pieces seriously. And that's something that really is at odds with me. Because like I said many times before, if this alleged Bible is something that we should all be reading, or that we should all be following the teachings of Christ, like you say, you know, I think that all of this Bible should be regarded by Christians, not just pieces of it. You know, and that's the issue that I have. You know, you're more than welcome to, you know, reply to this. You're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section as well. But I wanted to point out to you that this is something that I have a problem with, you know. And that is why I feel that the Bible has no, in no way, shape, or any form, you know, any kind of influence at all, period. Especially when it comes to facts, or especially when it comes to anything for that matter, you know. And that's why I cannot take it seriously. That's why I cannot take Christianity seriously. And I don't mean this to be an insult. I'm just merely stating my position, you know. And that's something that I wanted to share with you. But like I said, feel free to reply.